Welcome back to the Polishing Podcast. My name is Nico, otherwise known as Nico, I'm powerful on some stuff. This Hi. is Allie. I'm Allie. I'm your wife. Hallie Mackey on some stuff. Mm-hmm. And we are the hosts of the Polishing Podcast. Mm-hmm. And today, we're going to talk to you about the Snyder Cut, mm-hmm. Batwoman, mm-hmm. and other things that pop up because, I mean, that just happens. Yeah. But yeah. So, if you're living under a rock somehow by the po- time this comes out, mm-hmm. the Snyder Cut is happening. It's happening, Doug Gibb. It's, yeah. There's, that's, I feel like that's the appropriate reaction. Yeah. Um, the internet willed it into existence. <laughs> After bullying people and raising money for suicide prevention. What? Yeah. They were donating money to suicide prevention hotlines and stuff because of mm. Zack Snyder's mm. child. Um, and to help raise awareness for, like, support, like, in support of, like, they were okay with him stepping down, but also they were like, can we get, we want your vision of the movie. Also, here's money towards organizations Great. that would help prevent things that happen that's kind of i mean i think that's kind of nice well yeah okay. that part is the bullying I'm, of i'm not really sure what the bullying was I, i'm not I, in the corner of the internet where that was happening well yeah but it seems to be that a lot of people in my orbit are commenting on that as sort of the main takeaway mm. of the snyder cut coming out they're like oh so we give in to bullies now and i'm like i don't i never saw it so i don't know yeah i don't know i don't they, know any details on nobody i know is an asshole on the internet like that so i don't know yeah i don't know who they were happening. talking to mm-hmm. but it doesn't matter it's happening next year hbo max 2021 mm-hmm. four hour six part series this is how it will be released that's w- for sure or that's or what that's the issues? no that's the report the same in the same articles that link about how it's going to cost 20 to 30 million dollars to read to everything maybe then the film will make (sighs) sense i mean (laughs) a justice league movie that doesn't have multiple movies like two other movies setting up characters needed to be longer than it was Mm -hmm. anyway isn't the original justice league only like an hour and a half like isn't it really short it's like markedly shorter than other movies i'm gonna double check this yeah it felt shorter. I was like, wait, wait, we're, oh, wait, wait, oh, oh, mm-hmm, oh. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, oh, God, that's Steppenwolf. He looks like a video game character circa 2012. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Snyder Cut. I want to know about the one that came out. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, my goodness. I got to go all the way to the Wikipedia page just to figure out the runtime. <laughs> <sighs> oh, it's 120 minutes. But it's still... Yeah two hours <clears throat> but that's 120 minutes with credits yeah that's and true. all that stuff like normally movies like that are more like two and a half hours oh that's fair with credits and stuff well, yeah let's see on the opposite end of the spectrum how long was i don't know the first avengers mm-hmm. that infinity one's pretty one. short too but they had like five mm-hmm. movies before that yeah i just want to so. see what <laughs> how long it was though mm-hmm. like they're five years apart as well so mm-hmm. like different standards 143 so this was still even 23 minutes yeah. longer 23 minutes is a lot of screen time oh yeah that is a lot of movie as we can attest for we rewatched batman v superman the ultimate edition recently mm-hmm. and that extra 30 minutes it matters. really matters <laughs> and honestly <sighs> I don't understand why they took out what they took out for the theatrical version. Like, they literally took out the connective tissue. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that either WB or I think that's actually it, whoever published the movie, Mm -hmm. was like, well, theaters aren't going to want to run it, so you're going to have less theaters running it, less showtimes, less tickets. We cut out half an hour. It's now two and a half hours instead of three more I mean, showings more that. money yeah i just mean like why why they chose what they cut out like cutting oh. cutting movies down that happens all the time yeah yeah but like if you have a good editor <laughs> then you should be able to edit the movie down in a way that like is still comprehensive they must have not been edited well by somebody maybe yeah i wonder who the editor is i wonder if they yeah. have a bunch of things that i also hate that are nonsensical. <laughs> or if they, they were probably just also edited the kingdom of heaven <clears throat> version yeah. theatrical cut some like horrible bullshit um, <laughs> i've never seen that movie or the director's cut but from what i've heard it's uh, who's the guy who did gladiator and the alien movies 
Ridley uh, Scott? Yeah, Ridley Scott. Hmm. But apparently Kingdom of Heaven, the theatrical version, is a incomprehensible. Like, there's a certain character that literally does something that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Like, it's a huge plot hole. And in hmm. the director's cut of it, like, you spend more time with her character. So when the thing happens, hmm. you're like, oh, I understand your... I, I'm I no longer yeah. just like, oh, you're fucking insane because mm -hmm. you just all of a sudden decided this thing. It's mm -hmm. like, no, I know exactly what your reasoning is. Right. And I can see you as a person. <laughs> it's weird how cutting yeah. out parts of movies that some people think are frivolous aren't. Yeah, I wonder because I, I mean, I don't want to pin it too much on like one particular person. Right? Oh, yeah. Because I mean, it has to be okayed by right. whoever and all sorts of stuff. And, and big studios like WB or like Marvel and Disney, like they put a huge amount of pressure and they have a large amount of power over what movies look like when they actually come out. Yeah. Um, and so if they want something cut, it'll get cut. Mm -hmm. And even if that shit makes no kind of sense. It's just that they're just like, nope, take out the things. For example, I did it again. I was like kind of off, out. Like the the scene that they cut out where the the mercenaries are like burning the bodies of the people they shot. Yeah. Because otherwise, you come across a place in the middle of nowhere with a bunch of bullet holes. You're not like, obviously, this was Superman's doing. <laughs> yeah. Like Superman <laughs> picked up an assault rifle and mowed all these people down. Right. Like, what? That makes no sense. And then in the Ultimate Edition, it's one shot. Mm -hmm. It's one shot of them, like, setting the bodies on fire. And that automatically, like, seals the plot hole shut. Like, why did you remove that shot? Yeah. It makes no sense. Mm -hmm. Like, otherwise, you're like, well, maybe I can assume they did that. But it's not clear enough. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't really make a lot of sense. But yeah. rewatching the... Um, also, you see edition. Superman's hate of drones again. What in the world was that? Oh, I think something knocked over in the shower because uh, the window's wide open. Uh, okay. <clears throat> <laughs> um, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Because um, uh, in the end of Man of Steel, he <laughs> he takes out a drone and the U.S. Like, military is like, um. <laughs> and he's like, I don't want mm. you spying on me. <laughs> that's it. And then in this ultimate cut, he also flies straight through a drone that's mm -hmm. about the drone strike and kill Lois and said warlord. Right. And probably some innocent people in that general area, because that's what the U.S. government does. Yeah, it seemed like it anyway. Mm -hmm. um, Even though the U.S. was supposed to be taking a neutral yeah. side in that conflict. I mean, in some ways, it could be that they didn't want that level of criticism of the U.S. military. Which part? The part where he takes out the drone. Well, that's not... I'm, Is that in? I don't even think that's in the other edition. Mm. I don't remember anything about a drone. Hmm. Yeah, because you don't see those, uh, I don't know, probably special forces guys either mm -hmm. at all. Like that whole sequence isn't in it. And I don't, I mean, do you really need those guys or anything? Not really, Not I really, guess. I don't remember what, like, if anything <clears throat> else they did. But it's a sharper critique of U.S. foreign yeah. policy. And they were probably like, well, we want that DOD cash. <laughs> probably. We're on that DOD dick. Yeah. So we need that. You could have just said D.O. Dick. Come on. No. That's the second dick. time. I know. You have missed it. <sighs> hey. <laughs> it's Lil Nas, so it's okay. No. <laughs> it's <was> copyrighted material. <laughs> I gotta edit all this out. <laughs> Do you? I mean, I bet you can't even really hear it. The window's wide open. These mics yeah, are right. not. Like, I'd set them to where they're not. Like, I could set them lower, and then we'd have to get all up ASMR style, but then it would just read regularly. Mm -hmm. So, that... There's no risk we run in our neighborhood. Well, I mean, I could have shut the window, but then we'd sweat, so... Right. I'm not doing that. Yeah, I already took a shower, so... Yeah. Um, and I'm not taking one for another, like, four hours, because <laughs> there's no reason to get out of this habit yet. Until uh, next week-ish. Well, probably this week. I don't know. Next week, I got to wake up at, like, fuck off in the morning. That's bullshit. But anyway, uh, back to stuff. So, Ultimate Edition, in my opinion, is a good movie. It's not a great movie by any means. But it it's is good. Yeah, it's good. If you were to ask me how I would rate it, I would rate it a 7 out of 10. Mm -hmm. If you asked me how to rate Batman v Superman regularly, it'd be, like, a 4. Yeah, because it three literally and a half. makes no sense. Yeah, there's huge <clears throat> plot holes. Lex Luthor 
seems to just stumble into a bunch of stuff. Right. Instead and, of it being like a clearly elaborate, deliberate plan. Yeah. Based on his remarkable amount of intelligence, which makes yeah. a lot more sense for everything we know about Lex Luthor is that yeah. he's both incredibly intelligent and very wealthy. So. Yeah. And that's what makes him scary. That's what yeah. makes Though, Kingpin scary. Like that's. His, the Jesse Eisenberg's like unhinged kind of <laughs> kooky Mark Zuckerberg version of Lex Luthor doesn't really work because Lex Luthor's biggest thing is coming off as calm collected mm-hmm. and just being like we have to be ready for Superman to turn on us at any point in time right and it's not so much I am crazy maniacal popping Jolly Ranchers into people's mouths right. guy it's like that's a little bit sinister but it's not it's a, an unsettling yeah it's yeah i mean and jesse eisenberg is nothing if not unsettling yeah but it's unsettling in a very different way than lex Luthor has traditionally been yeah. portrayed he's usually portrayed as like a very calm mm-hmm. weirdly eerily calm sort of driven nerd yeah who just wants to kill superman yeah um so yeah don't don't fully understand the jesse eisenberg casting choice yeah. or the the choice of how he portrayed the character <clears throat> ben affleck's but batman still ben baller. affleck's batman is one of my favorite batmans yeah that fucking fight scene in the warehouse mm-hmm. is the best batman fight scene it's, yeah. i think that i've seen ever yeah it's the coolest fight scene mm-hmm. like you see the wall and you're like oh he's gonna go through he's gonna, go <laughs> he's gonna punch through the wall and then he does and you're like oh it's so good <laughs> or when he picks up the huge fucking like wooden box the crate, the crate yeah. and know. like throws it at a dude i'm like that guy's dying that he dead okay yeah. the guy gets hit and then he smacks into the wall and there's like blood spatter i'm like he did well that's only in the ultimate edition they yeah. added blood in the ultimate edition because yeah. it's like that those guys died right <laughs> <laughs> yeah and, so yeah. that's yeah, they, pretty great and also honestly yeah. shout out to ben affleck for that workout scene yeah i was not expecting it and it it was a gift <laughs> It was a gift. Every time I see the movie, I'm like, oh, thank you, Ben Affleck, for this. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you got to have that scene when Henry Cavill's in the movie. Yeah. And they get him shirtless at least once. Right. And they do right. Do it one time. Right. they got to show off his hairy chest. Yeah. Um, but so that's the thing. And then Justice League happened, and it's, like, very, very clearly able to... Uh, it's not a great way to word anything I was saying. Um, <laughs> it, it's it's very easily... Sp- Jesus, that's not good either. It, you can see where Joss Whedon's input yeah. and new scenes were put in compared to Zack Snyder's scenes because the tones are completely different. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, Batman is quipping like he's any Marvel character right. that Joss Whedon directed. He, I mean, honestly, any Every. Whedon character <laughs> that he's ever directed. And it's just like, I mean... It's not tonally appropriate. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. It's like, I if I can... I'm, I'm okay with a Batman that quips. Adam right. West was a thing. Right. I'm not okay with a Batman who's never done it before and then all of a sudden does. Right. From scene to scene has no consistency. Yeah. Like, sometimes he's quippy and sometimes he's a sad, rugged old man. Yeah. Who's getting real tired of the youthful nonsense shenanigans. Yeah. Like, it's very... It just messes with it, especially when you have, like, young, new characters being introduced. Mm-hmm. Like, how do you have Ezra Miller there? And you're like, you know who should be quippy? Batman. But not Barry Allen? Yeah. Especially Ezra Miller's Barry Allen? His whole brand is, like, quirky. Like, yeah. that's... What are especially, you... like, the version they were going for. Right. He's hilarious. <clears throat> so, like, so... why are... What? That doesn't... I yeah. don't... It doesn't make sense. Like, just give him the quippy lines. Yeah. And, like, the bitchier lines you give to Aquaman. Perfect. Yeah. Well, sure. I don't know. Well, because Jason Momoa's Aquaman's kind of an asshole. Oh, <laughs> but yeah. But it's like, but it works. Yeah. Because he's Jason Momoa. So what are you going to do? Not like him? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Look at him. Yeah. This is absurd. He's very likable, and he's also very attractive. Yeah. So. It was, if anything, Batman and Wonder Woman should be, like, the more serious. Exactly. Like, leaders of the unit, because mm-hmm. they are. Right. And it's just, it's all over the place. And then you got the fucking... Henry Cavill face CGI. Poor baby. And, he which, deserves better. It didn't make why. I, it doesn't make any sense. Just let him come back from the dead with facial hair. It I'm doesn't, pretty like. I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen in this new I version. Fucking hope so. <laughs> Henry it, Cavill's probably like, thank Christ. <laughs> so people could stop memeing me about my <laughs> lip. <laughs> he was like, listen, I just got, I got cast in a Mission Impossible movie. What am I gonna do? 
not be in a Mission Impossible movie? I'm trying well, to get my Well, it's not mind. his fault. Right. It was, um, what was it? I think WB was like, hey, if he could shave, that'd be cool. We'll pay you. And WB went, or not WB, who, Paramount? I don't know. Whoever makes the Mission Impossible movies was like, no. And then they were like, okay, I guess we'll CGI his face. It's like, you guys, why? Don't do that. Don't do that. It's like. Just what? give him facial hair. It's not that It's hard. not. Superman doesn't have to be clean cut, especially right. coming back from the dead. Especially Henry Cavill. It's very obvious the man can grow a beard. Yeah. Like, even when he's freshly shaven in every single take, you can see in his skin the capacity to grow a beard. It's it, So what are we even... He has a hairy chest, mm-hmm. but his face, nary a hair. What's the deal with that? I mean, I get that's like the iconic look of Superman, but also he's coming back from the dead. He doesn't need to be hairless for that. Which is explicitly not the iconic version of Superman, right? Like, the iconic version of Superman, the early version of Superman. Not early, 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 but, like, the part where he, like, first got pretty famous. It's, like, is not the kind of Superman where he's, like, dying and coming back maybe a little violent and evil. And, like, that's not... Well, no, I'm saying just clean shaven. Right. But those stories came back, like, they they came about later. So, like, why can't we update his image? This was also back when DC was, like, oh, uh... Or, like, WB was telling the DCEU, it's like, oh, we're going to have a Suicide Squad movie? Kill everybody in the Arrowverse that's anywhere linked to yep. that. Or Makes Miranda no Waller, yep. Deadshot, all of them were dead <clears throat> in the Arrowverse because yep. d- they were like, people are going to get confused. No. Bro. How stupid do you think your stupid. audience is? Especially when the most successful of those shows is The Flash. Yeah. Yeah. Where they explicitly talk about how he can travel to other dimensions. And times. And times. And during the first two seasons, fucked with time yes. multiple times. So, like, we get it. <laughs> Multiverse. And that's like, it. That's it. We're, yeah. That's, but, and by the third yeah. one, isn't the whole deal, like, oh, like, anytime something's off, they're like, oh, fuck. What did Barry do this yep, time? exactly. <laughs> like, that's the joke. Is like, oh, oh yeah. no, Barry messed with the timeline I again. I saw people joking about that with uh, Batwoman. They're like, <clears throat> oh, is this just going to be some, like, Barry fuckery? And then they're going to be like, oh, no, someone else is Batwoman. They're going to have to. I mean, yeah, it's going to. Or somebody else, like, takes up the mantle and it's not. No, because. No, they're recasting Batwoman. Like, it's. I don't think it's going to be a different, like, version of oh. Batwoman. I think they're recasting Kate Kane. Kate Kane. Weird, but okay. They uh, said it's going to be a queer woman, so... I, don't, I mean, so was Ruby Rose. Well, yeah, that was, like, part of... So, Greg Berlanti, who runs all the Arrowverse stuff, yeah. is gay. Did oh. not know this. Man, I didn't either. He's gay, and he insisted on finding a queer person to play. Also, this is the other thing we were talking about <clears throat> with Batwoman. Oh, yeah. Ruby Rose is out. She's Ruby like, Rose is out. She's not returning for Batwoman. They put out a though... bunch of statements that are all nice, <clears throat> sucking each other's dicks. Yeah. But, but you don't leave a massive undertaking like that where you get to be the lead on a show. Yeah. If there's not really good reason, especially when it's already been renewed. Yeah. It's so going like, to have a second season. Right. So And that wasn't contingent on her leaving or staying. It was just like renewed. Yeah. So they need a new Batwoman, right? Um, Which is weird because they were setting up. I mean, we haven't watched Batwoman because yeah, because it hasn't come out on Netflix yet. Yeah, and apparently it only had twenty episodes instead of its twenty-two because yeah. of everything, right. gestures broadly. <laughs> um, which I mean is happening to a lot of shows, yeah, especially shows with really long ass seasons. Yeah, like all the shows on the CW. But so when we saw her in the um, crossover, yeah, the crossovers. It seemed like they were setting her up as going to be the, like, leader. Mm-hmm. Like, whereas Green Arrow was the leader. Mm-hmm. So it's like... So what's the... So... What y'all gonna do now? <laughs> are you just gonna have a different actress come in and be the leader? Because... I, mean, I, I was thinking <laughs> they would, like, I don't know, <clears throat> Doctor Who it. Just be like, well, she died and then she morphed into someone else. That's not... <laughs> That's not Batman. No, but yeah, I mean, some people or were Batwoman th- or some Batgirl. people were thinking, oh, this could be like Barry <clears throat> does something, and then someone else is Kate Kane. I okay. mean, probably, <clears throat> and he's gonna be the only one that says anything about it. He'll be like, oh, uh, who are you? I'm just like, I'm Batwoman, Barry. Damn. And he's like, well, <laughs> <laughs> I fucked something up that night. <laughs> I swear, or, or I will fuck something up <laughs> in the future that I didn't know about. <laughs> He's like, I haven't time traveled in a while. The last time I did, I tripped, but I didn't think this would happen because of it. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. Who knows? But it's it's interesting. I always want to know the hot goss. 
I mean, yeah, but, you know, how many NDAs are signed and for who knows how yeah. long. I mean, and sometimes people just, they just find they don't like the workplace. Like, honestly. I mean. It's just weird that you would do all those crossover episodes, hear that you're going to get your own series, sign up for that. Yeah. And then be like, all right, now nah, never mind. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's I always, know. like, complicated stuff going on behind the scenes. That's true. Lord knows I've, I've been a fan of Grey's Anatomy for several years now, and, like, people enter and leave that show for fucking, I don't know. Teddy left for, like, four seasons, and now she's back being a whole bitch. <laughs> like, I don't know. Everybody's, like, in and out of that show, so I'm kind of like... Except for the people they kill off. Right. <laughs> because most of them get murdered. <laughs> there's a pretty big difference, you can tell, I think, between <laughs> who's left on good terms and who hasn't. Um. <laughs> There's some people who leave and you're like, oh, there's a way they could possibly come back. And then there's people that are like, no, they're dead, dead. I mean, the reason why what's his face Which left one? the what was it? The main love interest, dude. Oh, what's his name? Yeah, I know. Who McDreamy. You're about. Yeah. The reason why McDreamy left was straight up because him and Ellen Pompeo could not get along. Yeah. They were like playing these star cross lovers. But if you notice the season, like up until he dies spoiler i don't know that's like an eight-year-old spoiler but up know, until he dies that long ago. <clears throat> they're like hardly in any scenes together yeah because they just could not stand each other because yeah. he was an ass patrick dempsey there we go name. apparently he was just a dick and he wanted billing over her she's like i'm literally meredith gray of gray's anatomy <laughs> i am the titular character this show has been about me since the first episode yep and he was just like well i'm a man so and now she's the highest paid woman on cable television. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like people enter and leave shows all the time for reasons that seem obvious or are less obvious. But or don't because the show hasn't gone on for 20 years. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Hasn't when I think about when they must have been cast. Because they're on their 16th. They just finished oh, the 16th season. I was going to um, look up how long it's been on. So probably 16 years. But I'm thinking like that's from when the first one came out. Mm -hmm. They probably filmed it at least six months before that, but maybe got cast six months before that. Like it could be that they really are going on 20 years. Yeah. I mean, I don't know that long, but close to it. Yeah. Yeah. Getting up there. It's nuts. It's pretty wild. Yeah. Shonda Rhimes said, cut that check. <laughs> I'd rather just have a show end before it gets to that point. I mean, in some ways, you can... I mean, they've Excuse constructed me. the show so that it keeps going on in a way that makes sense because it's very grounded and it takes very small amounts of time mm -hmm. and kind of stretches them out. If it were any other kind of show, it just wouldn't mm -hmm. make any sense. And I would hate it for going on so long. But they keep coming up with new ways to make me want to watch that shit. Mm -hmm. They make me cry, like, seven times a season. So, I guess... How many episodes are in a season? It depends. Huh. 20 something it's a long season yeah. <clears throat> and they uh -oh. make me cry frequently <laughs> even when i don't want to even when i like when they kicked off karev i was like this is a stupid way to write him off but am i crying yes didn't he die no oh that's right no he didn't die he didn't die i yeah. honestly would have wanted him to die more well yeah but he finally <laughs> got to be happy as a character and then they were like oh nope nope <laughs> Seriously, it's wild. Just in case you don't know, wasn't that the in the latest season? Yeah. So just in case they're like, oh, "I haven't caught up yet." Well, we're not going to spoil that for you, but but <sighs> it's a terrible choice. Of all the choices they could make, it's possibly the worst choice I could think of. I mean, I yeah, rather you could have killed him. <laughs> like in the middle of the ER, just like clutch his heart, die of a heart attack right there. <laughs> that would have been. I would have accepted. I mean, whatever. He's a very high stress person. Yeah. He works at a hospital. He just kicks it right in the middle. Yeah, that checks out. Okay. Middle of a neonatal ward. Right. Okay. Horrible, but okay. Yeah. What they chose was way worse. Oh, yeah. But I still sobbed like a friggin' baby. I sounded, ugh. I hate myself for caring that much about what they did. Um, but yeah, people, you know, enter and leave shows, but it's usually not the lead actress. Yeah. <clears throat> after a successful first season. Well, I mean, I don't know how successful the season was. It was renewed. I mean, that's the. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. They're not going to invest money in a, another season if it's not That's true. profitable. <clears throat> but uh, so that happened. Yeah. So Zack Snyder's making his own version of Justice League finally. Yeah. Ruby Rose is like, I'm out. <laughs> Ruby Rose exits chased by a bear. What? Is it? Have you? There's a scene in a Shakespeare play. Oh, where a character, you told me about like, this. Character like apropos yeah. of nothing goes like like exits chased by a bear. Yeah. It's incredible. 
I forgot. It should go to me. show that like people who take Shakespeare too seriously are incorrect. <laughs> because sometimes he's just like, and then that person gets eaten by a bear. And like, that's just what happens. Yeah. So Ruby Rose said, exit, pursued Chase. by a bear. <laughs> but so that's a thing that happened. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, I haven't watched the show, so I got no opinions of it. I know the commercials for it were cringy because it's yeah. like, she's a girl. She wants you to know she's a girl. <laughs> I'm not Batman. She's a girl. <laughs> it's like, okay. We put we titties on her costume, so you know she's not a girl. <laughs> no, she That's is a girl. You said not a oh, girl. is a girl. But also, Ruby Rose has no titties, so y'all are just creating those titties out of armor for no reason. Well, yeah, it's so she, nobody thinks she's Batman. She doesn't want to be confused for her cousin. Like, she's or, wearing oh, a giant whatever. red wig. I hate it. Anybody who looks at it and goes, Batman. Well, no, it's because she wears a costume without the wig, mm. and they just think she's Batman. So they add the wig. Well, because at first glance, you see somebody in a black suit with the little ding. Little ears. Yeah. Swooping about. You're like, oh, Batman. Obviously, I don't know how big Batman is. I've never looked that closely at Batman's chest to know whether he got titties or not. Well, I, I mean, know. most people <laughs> most people who get a good glimpse of Batman right. <laughs> end up unconscious, concussed, <laughs> broken. Right. So, so, you know, some random person criminal is like, oh, I didn't know Batman was a lady. Yeah. Like, right, because people who get a good look at Batman don't. <laughs> don't tend necessarily uh, tend to remember things too well <laughs> afterward. Well, especially because Batman's whole thing is, like, swoopy in the dark. Yeah. So, like, you can't see. I don't know. It's it's odd. It was, but I know that the red, I mean, the red wig is something from Batwoman comics. I know. But. That doesn't mean it's a good choice. Yeah. I and mean, she, or she could just wear it because her hair is red. But then they make her, like, just brunette, Ruby Rose. Well, yeah. I don't know. It's weird. I, I mean, it does disguise her more if you're looking for a redhead. Yeah. With long, flowing red locks to yeah. be Batwoman. But also, you're not going to look at Ruby Rose, so. Yeah. But the problem, I, I've i always had this problem since I've rec- Ow. Is that your teeth? Yeah, it knocked on my teeth. It's Ouch. water all over me, but it's fine. Damn. Um, it was not awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing I've had a problem with is people with long hair in movies yep. and TV shows that <clears throat> enter fight scenes. Like you're supposed to be soldier, fighter, mm-hmm. whatever the fuck. Yep. And your hair's just out and about getting in your eyes. Yeah. No. That's not a thing. So the fact that she goes, I want to be a Batman like person. I'm going to purposefully give myself red long hair to get in my way doesn't make any sense also capes bullshit get him out of here <laughs> tell me a cape doesn't get in the fucking way yeah that shit is not useful to you it only impedes your movement the only people who need capes and i say need in the sense for like are dramatic bitches like superman yeah he's not really dramatic in the sense he's, that he's he a means little bit to dramatic. be <laughs> but his iconography is dramatic yes but he, I can see him getting away with a cape because if it gets caught on something, it usually won't end up fucking over his entire existence. Right. Batman's cape gets caught on something. He could be dead. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be all fucked up about it. Right. All <laughs> fucked up about it. Especially because he's just some dude. Yeah. He's just some guy. He's just the guy. That a lot of money caught, and gadgets. If that shit gets caught on something, it's attached by his neck as he's jumping off one of these buildings like he is wont to do. <laughs> Like, I get it. He probably has a safety release because he's Batman. He got all kinds of preparation. Gadgetry. But then at that point, why the cape? Spooky invest- inspector gadget looking. <laughs> looking head ass. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So who knows what's going on there? We'll probably not find out for for a while. A very long time. Because the camera's in production for a good minute. So. Yeah. Um, and then... I mean, there's nothing much else to talk about Snyder Cut. It's going to be really long. It's going to be a – they like they want to do it in, like, multiple parts because, I mean, to be fair, if it's going to be four hours long, I wouldn't want to watch it all the way through first sitting anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, so I get it. That And m- honestly, there's a way in which a Justice League movie, especially given the, like, long history of the Justice League shows that are so good. Yeah. It, I kind of prefer it as episodic yeah. as opposed to a film. Like, the thing that Avengers, Avengers suffers from, because they have so many of these big ensemble films with some characters they haven't introduced or developed 
elsewhere is it all the characters sound the same oh yeah because there's what time do you have to differentiate when you're only allowing it to be two and a half hours of runtime and you've got to have the whole like act one act two and act three but also somehow you have to introduce like seven more characters like eventually they all just run together yeah especially if you have like you're not collaborating with other writers from mm-hmm. the other movies that helped find their voices in exactly. their individual thing. So it's like I kind of like the idea of a Justice League thing being like a real like a cool, really well done mini series. I'm actually kinda into that. I mean, yeah, that's kind so, of what the idea is yeah. gonna be. Which is crazy to think about. It's like they have the movie, the movie's made, mm-hmm. they're gonna redo some of it. I bet they also have some scene, like some stuff that was filmed that didn't make it. Oh yeah, because I mean, Joss Whedon, like they're the editor that came in with him, mm-hmm. recut the movie to make right. it to where the things he shot should make sense. Right, and they cut out scenes because, like, remember I was telling you about how they cut out scenes with Ray Fisher and Ezra mm-hmm. Miller, who are Cyborg and the Flash, and put in scenes with Gal Gadot and is it Diane Lane? superman's mom mm. and stuff like that yeah and it's like and lois um right. and it's like okay but so you're so joss whedon went in with their editor <laughs> and was like yeah so i want to cut out these new characters and focus more on the, the characters. characters we have already seen and know yep. from two other movies yep <laughs> what for lois three yeah so, this man of steel yep yeah and it's Amy Adams. Like, you could give her literally any script and she'll develop a beautiful character that will come through on screen. So, yeah. like, it doesn't... Yeah, it she doesn't, doesn't actually sense. need that much time. Though I am going to be interested to watch Justice League mm-hmm. and then watch Snyder's Justice yeah. League and see how different they are. Yeah. Because, I mean, bad or good, it's going to be different for sure. Yeah. Because he's going to be doing what he wanted it's to do with to the movie. It's hard to imagine it could get worse, frankly. Yeah. <clears throat> and some people have started to say, like, well, Zack Snyder's never done a great movie, so how is this going to be great? Right. And I'm but like... But will it be good? Yeah. Maybe. And that would be an improvement. Yeah. I mean, the bar's low. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I just want to point out, for the millionth time, that the villain looked horrible. Yeah. And I genuinely... Like, that's one of those things where I'm like, okay... That has that what that doesn't have anything to do with the director. There's nothing to do with the actors. There's nothing to do with the writers. Like that's a studio issue Mm -hmm. that they were willing to put out a film where the CGI was that underdeveloped to spend so many millions of dollars on creating it and then not do that extra month or 10 millions. Did one more woman come out beforehand? I think so. Also, I I know I said one more woman. And not Wonder Woman. <laughs> but, like, what? what's the difference? Like, if you already know you're making a movie... Oh, that came out the same year. That's going to cost yeah. X number of tens of millions of dollars. And you're stingy about the last couple of weeks of work on the CGI when the villain is 100% CGI. Every part of him that we see is CGI. Yeah. And you're going to just... That's where you skimp? Yeah. Like, of all the things they're going to spend money on, that's where you skimp. That's ridiculous. Hmm. All those scenes, like the big climactic moments, look ridiculous because the villain looks ridiculous. Yeah, the whole movie look real. would have been like 30% better if the villain looked better. You can tell me I'm going to watch Thor Ragnarok a million times over right. and never go, you know, that big green guy's not actually there, right? Never once do I go, Hulk's not there. Right. But every time Steppenwolf's on camera, you're like, that guy doesn't exist. He looks like... Or Thanos. Fucking Thanos, Thanos looks real. Thanos is liter- Like, he's only Josh Brolin from, like, the nose up. Yeah. Like, and he's fucking purple. Yeah. And bald. Josh Brolin wasn't bald when he was filming that. Yeah. Josh Brolin was just, like, looking like his regular ass self. Mm-hmm. I, like, that's one of the reasons why the movies make so much money is because the spectacle part of these over-the-top blockbusters look so good and so real. It's so compelling. Yeah. It's hard to suspend your disbelief and therefore enjoy those big over-the-top fight scenes if the villain looks like something out of a video game you played in 2014. Yeah. Like, that's weird. No, you're right. It just, he looked terrible. Yeah. I'm like, I don't understand why you didn't. Shit, Doomsday didn't look that bad. Right. At least Doomsday looked real. 
I mean, I mean, not real, but like yeah, he but looked get, like he was there. Yeah, he didn't look out of place. Yep, it makes I don't know. Yeah, um, and that like one shot of him in Batman v Superman. Yeah, he looked cool. I was like, oh, that would have been a great looking villain <laughs> for yeah. Justice League. Just I don't know. But then you just you just pooped your pants. Yeah, they just WB. Mm. You just pooped. They just shorted whatever VFX company they sent the yep. VFX to and. We're like, do this in three days. And they were like, fucking what? Yeah. Like, it literally takes us forever to do this. And a lot of money. And a lot of time. Yeah. Because they're just crunching the shit out of those people. Yeah. Like, you have to do that. And if you're not willing to take the time to do it, then you're not willing to make a movie like that. I also, I am wondering, because the one... So, if you're wondering if this is going to be a superhero-centric episode, well, we're half an hour in, so <laughs> get it get it together. Yeah, it um. I'm I'm wondering because like when Superman comes back and actually fights Steppenwolf at the mm-hmm. end, it's the most Supermany Superman we've yep. gotten. Yep, he's like happy and stuff. And I'm like, okay, was this Joss Whedon? Because if so, he knows how to do Superman. Right. But that's the only that's, thing I'm like, yeah. where I'm like, because hmm. if like if Ezra Miller's Flash in Zack Snyder's version of the movie, like all of Zack Snyder's version of the movie, isn't like. I don't know, like kind of naive and he's yeah, afraid and stuff. Barry Allen. Yeah. Cause like in the justice league movie, one of the cool, like there are some cool scenes in that movie. Oh, yeah. One of them is when he's ta- like Batman's talking to him and he's like, go in there, you save one person mm-hmm. and you come out and that's it. Just do that. Mm-hmm. And you'll know what to do. Yeah. Like he's teaching him how to be an actual superhero. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. And I'm and like, wonder, okay, who did this? Right. Cause this is good. And it's lovely, especially because Ben Affleck's older Bruce Wayne yeah. and Ezra Miller's like wide-eyed, naive Barry mm. Allen, who's not really a superhero yet. Yeah, because he's like, I just go in there and push people over. Right. <laughs> I, just, I just push people. <laughs> it's like, I've never fought anyone. Right. And it makes sense. Like, he's just some he random hasn't, kid. He hasn't had to. He's a dork. Yeah. He's like, I don't know. And he and he moves so fast. It's like, who's, who's going to fight him? Yeah. He just can just be like, beep. And that's it. And then things are solved. Yeah. Um. And it makes sense that he would need to learn. And who better to learn combat from than an aging but still incredibly buff Bruce Wayne Batman who's, like, been running his own fucking show yeah. for a super long time. 20 years. Yeah. As of Batman v Superman. Right. So, like, you know, yeah. like, that's a great mentoring relationship. Give me yeah. that shit. Give me some actual character development. Damn. And then give me a Superman that knows how to smile. Right. I'm like, Henry Cavill is so fine. Mm-hmm. His smile is so cute. Like, y'all cast him because he's this handsome god of a man. Let him smile one time. Just one time. And Even I think- that scene where he, like, climbs in the bath with Lois is, like, way more lighthearted than any shit they've let him do since they cast him. I just, yeah. I don't really understand. I mean, I kind of get it from those two movies because it's, like, the first one, he doesn't know how to be Superman. He's struggling with who he is because mm-hmm. even his father was like, don't do it. I'm going to die to a tornado for it, so, so don't. Stupid. It's like there's a reason why his dad died to a heart attack in the comics. Right. It's because he literally couldn't do anything. Right. Makes way more sense. Right. <laughs> Even if he could see that his dad's heart was fucked up. Right. He wouldn't. He couldn't do anything about it. Yeah, he's not a doctor. Right. Um, But whatever. Man of Steel. Heart tornado. Ridiculous. Doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. But in the context of the movie... The way he acts makes sense. Mm-hmm. His struggle to figure out his place in the world mm-hmm. makes sense, especially mm-hmm. since people are constantly berating him and talking about like, well, what is what's what what are his um, what's the word I'm looking for? What are his reasons behind yeah. who he saves and who he doesn't, yeah. and all that stuff, and making him question. It's like, well, what the fuck am I even doing if like me doing good things? Still makes people go, well, is he doing good things? Right. He's like, I did an objectively good thing, and y'all are still confusion, and I don't yeah. get it. And, like, I understand that part of it, like, being Superman and stuff is like, oh, well, I mean, he just, I don't like, the more grounded approach of him, like, struggling yeah. with the idea of, like, him and what he does is yeah. totally up Zack Snyder's everything's dark every, yeah. and stuff, and not so much about, oh, Superman's endless optimism, da 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 so it's a different take, but I also would like to see a Superman on screen right. that is genuinely kind of happy to do things. 
Right. <clears throat> and you only really get that at the end of Justice League. Yeah. And it's such a delightful And taste. he has Frost Breath. It's so cool. Frost Breath is awesome. <laughs> frost Breath is awesome. They're just like, oh, yeah, we haven't done this yet, right? <sighs> <laughs> I mean, you got to save it for something cool, I guess. I don't I guess. know. I don't know. I don't know. It yeah. seems silly. There were... Isn't there several times there's like explosions in End of Steel and Batman v Superman where he could have just. I mean, he has no reason to. I guess. If he's the only one in it, he's got no reason to. <laughs> it's like, oh, this isn't going to hurt. It's just be an inconvenience. Yeah. So, yeah. But um, so I'm wondering how that's going to change if it mm-hmm. does. Also, yeah. are we get in the mullet. <laughs> that'd be funny well, maybe not a mullet but just like a shaggy hair situation <laughs> let the man have hair i mean i don't care henry cavill way. looked so good in the witcher just let him have a little hair <laughs> he can have a little hair as a treat oh my god <laughs> yeah so those are things that are happenings things that the happenings starring multiple mark Wahlbergs. <laughs> what no <laughs> god that movie's trash if you ever um, want to laugh at a movie, go watch yeah. the, happening. the Happening. There's some parts where you're like, "Oh, that's fucked up," but then there, but it also gets to a point where you're like, "Wait a minute," because like, yeah, the it's scene not- where the guy just walks up to a tiger and lets it eat him, it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you mean Tiger King? <laughs> <laughs> no, that fully happens in it. <laughs> They're not a guy. Hmm. It's an accident. This in this movie, plants made him suicidal. <laughs> I just and I know that like people have said like oh like it's supposed to it's be supposed like, to be uh, kind of campy, but but it's not. Then why? Then why is, isn't it? Then why isn't it campy? <laughs> because none of this. Like because the scene where there's a lawnmower going and then the two people lay down in front of it, it's like that's stupid as shit looking. <laughs> Just, but then also children get shotgunned yep. and you see it and you're like, that's not campy. That's just horrible. Like, this <laughs> is not good. The, sh- the scene right before that where the children are just randomly banging on this house being like, let us in, asshole. And it's like, I mean, they're like teenagers. They're mm-hmm. probably like 13, 14, 15, whatever. Children. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's like, that's not campy. Right. Like there's whole sections of this movie that aren't like B-movie campy. Right. So... What's the truth? Right. Shyamalan. Shyamalama ding dong. That's racist. Is it? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's just really convenient that his name sounds like Shyamalama ding dong. I mean, is that a thing? I, I don't know. I've just heard multiple people say that. Oh, okay. I've stopped mispronouncing his last name just in case. Just in case. That's fair. I, think I am that's the white. That's probably, I mean, I am also the white. So it's that's probably the more sensitive approach. I think if maybe he made movies that weren't terrible. I would be less inclined. I mean, to mock him. Well, yeah. So that's it's, yeah. that's kind of got par for the yeah, course. But that's but you're right. That's the more sensitive approach. <laughs> it's like I'll mock him for his bad movies. Right. I'm not gonna make fun of his name. That's fair. That's fair. I take that critique. Yeah. I'll accept that because his movies are fucking trash. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I'll say that to his face. <laughs> hey, hey, Shyamalan, fuck your movies. <laughs> Hey, hey, fuck your movies one more time. <laughs> and then you just move on. And I know there's some that are good, but I don't care but for them either. Enough. Not enough yeah. for this man to be able to just keep making movies. No, not at all. No, no. <sighs> that were lying to twist. Um, yeah, I mean, we talked about him on the yeah. podcast before. There's a whole thing I did, so I'm not yeah. doing this again. But yeah. yeah. So I'm excited to see Je- Justice League. Me too. Snyder's League. Snyder's League. <laughs> Big League, league <of> Chew. <laughs> <laughs> Big League Justice. <laughs> Snyder's League of Justice. Zach. <laughs> it's just called Zach. <laughs> no. He turns it into Zach the musical. <laughs> it's like, how are they singing? Their mouths don't match up. They just I mean, use deep fake technology yep. to turn it into a musical. I mean, listen, it would still have worked better for Henry Cavill's weird lip <laughs> so they should have used a deep man fake. they should have waited a while yep all they needed was another what six months a year i don't i don't remember when deep fake stuff started coming out but i'm sure honest. the technology for it existed before it like became maybe widely used on the internet for weird shit <laughs> like, probably you know i'm sure 
Um, but yeah, uh, what else? I mean, we watched all the Ultimate Edition. Talked about that. This happened. I'm still at work because duh. Yeah. Um, I'm still at home because duh. Yeah. Uh, nothing much else is going on. You made me Hashtag yawn. Gone. You made me yawn. I'm sorry. Yeah. We've been chilling, hanging out, gaming. Gaming. Ugh. Um. That's it. Yeah, I don't I, know that there's anything else really going on the happy house. I'm gonna watch Dark Phoenix. Oh yeah, that's true. You are. All of you assholes. <laughs> you can't talk to anyone watch it here with me. <laughs> it's so I'm gonna watch it by myself. You're gonna do that today? Maybe I don't know. No, my fidget. I'm cube. gonna watch Shit's Creek with Chelsea. Oh okay. And then maybe when, because she's got something to do with Max later, so I'm like, well maybe. When that's done. Is it each other? <laughs> <laughs> but you. <laughs> no, they're apparently someone's, uh, I don't know, the like comedy group he was making those short videos with like a year ago. Yeah. Um, they're having them record themselves drinking and watching horror movies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. Um, so she was like, yeah, I'm going to do that later. Cool. But until then, she's watching Shit's Creek, which if you like a comedy that will sometimes make you feel feelings, but mostly will just make you laugh hysterically. Shit's Creek is perfect. Well, yeah, it's hard to feel bad for the character situation. It's perfect. Yeah. That's the best part. Is like when misfortune strikes them, you're like, yes, <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, you, you rich assholes <laughs> who literally are rude to everyone all the time. Oh yeah. When bad things happen to them, it's not sad. You're like, this is justice. Yeah. It's one of the re like one of the things that I know about It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia mm. is that the characters are pieces of shit mm. and you're not supposed to root for them. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons like like they make them do awful things in the mm -hmm. show and like just say weird just fucked up shit. Right. Is because it's like, oh no, they're bad people. Right. So and when bad things happen to them You're like, Oh, okay, I can laugh. Right. You're like, yeah, that person deserves whatever horrible things happening to them because yeah. they are a horrible person. Yeah. That's what Shit's Creek is basically about. Yeah. There's like just a family of four really, really shitty people. Yeah. So every time something bad happens to them, you're like, Do well, they get less shitty by the end? I feel like they do get yeah, kind of less shitty. Yeah, the characters grow, but yeah. they still ultimately are very selfish. Oh, yeah. So they'll happily throw other people under the bus for literally any amount of money, for sure. Well, yeah. Um, but for very small... You go from everything to nothing. Yeah. The story of it is that they're like these really rich people, and then apparently they just haven't been paying taxes. Yeah, because their accountant, yeah. who's somebody's brother or cousin or something... Right. was like has... embezzling money or yeah. something. And they were like, oh, well, so-and-so was supposed to just pay the taxes. And then the, they, they were like, well, the federal government doesn't really care <laughs> if he was true. supposed to. We're just going to take all your shit. And so the only thing that they own is a little town. <laughs> that the they bought as a joke. That they bought as a joke because the town <laughs> is called Shit's Creek. Uh, and they have to live there in this like shitty motel. They're used to being like the uber, uber, uber rich. Yeah. Like the, the daughter like name drops celebrities all the time. Um, and so it's like it's Eugene and Dan Levy. Eugene Levy is Dan Levy's father. They create the show. They write the show. They star in the show. And they are so goddamn funny because <laughs> eugene levy just is the perfect like older wealthy man who's like tries to be very polite but ultimately is deeply selfish yeah so he like wears these really nice suits and like he's trying to make he says he's trying to make the best of like being in the town but really he just is so condescending and so everyone in the town like is nice to him but then they're like but why are you such a dick all the time <laughs> and it's great um yeah and it's just hilarious. And, like, the sibling relationship is perfect. It's, yeah. like, exactly as mean and as loving as sibling relationships can be. Yeah. Uh, where they just constantly, like, fuck with each other. But ultimately, they're like, but I love you. Mm -hmm. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Ew, d -bed. Oh. So, that's it's a good show. great. If you yeah. need something to, like. It's over now, right? Yeah, I think they just had their last episode a couple yeah. weeks ago. R.I.P. It's a great show, though. Dan I mean, Levy, honestly, I don't know if you need to say R.I.P. To the show. Well, I mean, but if it went out on its own terms. I, yeah, I think it did. I don't know. It's great. Dan Levy's hilarious on Instagram. <laughs> Give him a follow. Thirst Aid Kid did an episode about him. 
and he like tweeted about <laughs> it. He was like, "Wait, this is so sweet, Thanks, guys." <laughs> and That's the writers ridiculous. were like, "Hi, you're very attractive." <laughs> ridiculous well the uh, that's a good i don't know if that's a, a podcast recommendation you'd want on your podcast but i mean it's our podcast our podcast gosh but there's a great podcast run by these two women it's now over a slate um and it's like about desire it's, fundamentally it's about thirsting for people it's about being thirsty yeah and i don't mean needing hydration oh i they mean, need some hydration i mean thirsty <laughs> and uh, they're really great because they sort of approach it as both like this funny thing, but also this intellectual thing. Mm. So, and they, what they say all the time is like, I don't want to yuck somebody's yum. So like, like there's things I'll be like, well, I don't personally find X, Y, Z thing or person or physical attribute or whatever attractive, but I like see why. And here's like instances where I might find it attractive in conjunction with these other things. And just sort of talking about the way desire works and then at the end, they read these little fiction drabbles mm -hmm. about, usually about, like, real people in the world. Um, and they have an episode with Chris Evans. They got to just hang out with Chris Evans. I was going to say. And now they, like, follow all follow each other on Twitter and, like, tweet at each other all the time. And it's super cute. <laughs> um, and Chris Evans claims to not really know that people find him attractive, which I just. I mean, I get it. Are you? Yeah. I, I don't get it. If he actually uses any of his own social media, he must just constantly be getting uh, yeah, dudes but, in his DMs. Well, I mean, that that suggests that he has his DMs open. That's true. To begin with. Um, on Twitter, I don't... Can you close your DMs? On yes. Twitter? Oh, you can't close them on Instagram. Well, you can be a private account, but you can't close your DMs completely. Okay. But I'm just saying on Twitter, I mean, also, he could just not open them. That's true, I guess, but... You could just be like, but then you can't, you know. I mean, you look. No, I, maybe not. I don't know. Look, if you're at that point of fame, yeah, there's a certain thing really that you just want. are like, I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna engage. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, it's really easy to not look up fan fiction of yourself. Who would have yeah. guessed? It's like, oh, I wonder what the people are talking about. My, it's like Chris Evans at his computer. Chris Evans R three four. <laughs> <laughs> not my dogs yeah. ah. <laughs> stress him out I don't like that um, but yeah it's a really cute episode where he claims that he like doesn't understand why people find him attractive and I'm like first of all shut up second of all he might have self esteem issues I just super doubt that <laughs> just because he's rich doesn't mean he doesn't have mental health that's problems that's true but he has the money to have those treated that doesn't doesn't mean he understands it i don't know he doesn't seem like a guy with low self-esteem he seems like he's doing all right pretty I, content with his life i don't know I i'm just be, saying i would be content if i had millions of dollars well yeah we've also been poor right so it's easier for <laughs> us to be that all way. of my other problems literally would go away if I had <laughs> <money>. <laughs> yeah so i can't sympathize with people who are rich and also sad unless something sad has happened to them like I like don't what know, happened with Zack life. Snyder. Like, I'm like, oh, that's sad. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. That is genuinely sad. Yeah. But um, uh, I don't remember where I was going to go. Also, this isn't a new fidget cube. I've had this for years. I just started using it because I'm, it's keeping me from doing dumb shit to my mustache. Mm -hmm. So that's why you have this in my hands the entire time in the video episode of the podcast. What the hell? The mic just did a weird thing. Horrifying. I mean, it's haunted. It, did it do? Is it because of that? Maybe I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. That was weird. Hashtag on. Um. Ah, I don't know if I got anything else because I'm not doing anything new. No. It's, it's springtime at Whole Foods, so we're gonna be selling spring stuff for cooking out. Just don't cook out cook deeper. Your house. <laughs> well, I mean, if you have a grill and you're at home, yeah, I would say like that's fine, I guess. But don't invite a bunch of people over. Don't be dumb. Yeah. Did you hear about the concert that happened? And like, what is it, Nebraska or Oklahoma or something? With those places, I'm like, do we even have anything happening there? Because ain't nobody there. I mean, it was a country singer, so. 
probably bigger out there. But the venue was like, yeah, it's going to happen. We're going to do all these things. And then pictures from it came out and there's like 15 people in the crowd. They're not. I mean, I don't know if they're socially distancing at all, mm. but it's like they were like, oh, they're going to have pods and all kinds of like it's it just it sounds ridiculous. It's like or we could just wait or another some other con like there's a video of a concert happening in Ethiopia mm. or is it Ethiopia or somewhere else? I can't remember, mm. but everybody's in cars. So they use the drive in mm. theater and set up a concert there. That's great. And plus, they were also using a bunch of iPads to, like, have people Skype in or whatever the hell. That's cool. <clears throat> but, yeah. That's, there you go. Socially distanced concerts. Yeah. Just do, like, I understand do. why concert venues would be like, right. oh, well, I mean, we can't just convert <laughs> <laughs> to ha- have to cars in here. drive in tomorrow. Yeah. But also, I mean, right. I don't know. The alternative is people dying because yeah. of your concert yeah it doesn't make any sense zero out of ten also if you're wondering about my clearing of throat and coughs i don't know what's happening it's just phlegm i think it's allergies baby i feel like we've had this conversation like 10 times over the last week where you're like i don't know what's happening and i'm like it's allergies yeah but i don't know what's happening <laughs> i think it's allergies but i'm not a doctor that's true i don't want to come off as knowing things and i don't know them especially in the podcast where i'm talking Okay. About things. So, yeah, it's probably allergies because it literally is just like phlegmy. I, I also don't think snotty. you cleared your throat or coughed at any point during the podcast. Oh, I've done it a bunch. Oh, I haven't heard it. It's because I do this. Mm. And I guess you just weren't paying attention. You tend to get going whenever you talk. So, it's easy for me to just like, <laughs> and then come back and you're just like, <laughs> that's not how you talk. <laughs> right. I'm like, that's the opposite of what I sound like. <laughs> it's louder. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the reference for oh. some people. <laughs> um, a very dated reference. Yeah, man, I feel old. I am old. God, I'm close to thirty. We're close to thirty. Oh, I know. It's wild. I've been realized that it's rough. <laughs> hey, we could be dead. So there's that. I mean, honestly, I'm not mad about thirty. Yeah. I'm just feeling it more than I want to. So. At least you don't have, like, multiple gray hairs. Oh, I do. Where? I dye my hair. Yeah, oh. but not this part. Oh, I get gray eyebrow hairs. Oh. I have never seen them. Do you pluck them? Yeah. Really? Yeah, they mess up my aesthetic. <laughs> I don't want one gray eyebrow hair. That looks ridiculous. <laughs> I can't allow that. Okay, that's fair. I have a reputation of looking like a regular human person. Looking like a groomed human person. Oh, my God. You're ridiculous. So... They don't, well, they don't I have multiple story. gray hairs, like right here, mm-hmm. and a couple in my beard. Mm-hmm. Well, like this, like the chin area. But yeah, anyway. Yeah. Um, I think we're out of stuff to talk about. Yeah, that's all, folks. Yeah, well, there's nothing happening. I'm playing the division, you started to play Diablo. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. It's not. There's um, nothing new or exciting to report. Yeah, I try to think of, of topics, but I mean, I've kind of stopped trying to think recently. <laughs> I wonder so. what that's in connection to. <laughs> 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 Indicates uh, everything. Yeah. So, uh, and before you go, how does he stop thinking? I just listen to podcasts while playing video games. It's real easy when you're playing a game like The Division or something, like where you're like, oh, story, don't care. Right. And you just put on a podcast and you just focus on that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, that's going to be it. Uh, shout out for Patreon peeps. Certain Patrick. Thanks so much for sticking around. We love you. You're, you're cute. You're great. Thanks so much. Um, that's about it. Yep. The shorter one. I don't care. If we got nothing to talk about, there's no reason to sit here and drawn on. Yeah, I agree. I don't know what I said. I said drawn. Drawn on. on. No, I said drawn on. Oh. That's not a word. You mean drone on. I know, but oh, okay. I said drawn on, and that's not a thing. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, thanks for watching, listening, hanging out. We appreciate it. Stay safe. Stay kind. Drink lots of water. Yeah. Think. Honestly, drinking, I think drinking lots of water has helped my throat. Yep. Just really, honestly, at this Which point in my suck life, when anytime something happens to my body where I'm like, this is not great, if you just drink a lot of water, sometimes that just goes away. So, <laughs> yeah. Just drink a lot of water. Drink it. Just do it. Drinking. I've been drinking. I've been drinking. That water. (laughs) 
So, yeah. Thanks stay for Stay hydrated. Stay cute. You got floods. Thanks. You're welcome. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>